This is Sanjana and English with Sanjana. In this video, I'm going to help you with geography. Lesson 5. The school and the seminary surroundings. This is my fifth video in this series on the school and the seminary surroundings. If you have watched my previous videos on the school and the seminary surroundings, you may watch the first. Then you are ready for this lesson. Friends, are you ready? If you are ready, let's begin. What are the elements of weather? Temperature, rainfall, wind and clouds. In my previous video, I covered all about temperature and rainfall. But in this lesson, I am going to focus on Wind and clouds. Wind. How can we observe the wind in the environment? We can see moving leaves and branches of trees. And we can also feel cool. It happens as a result of the blowing wind. Look at this picture here. You can see moving branches and leaves due to the blobby wind. Towards which direction do the branches of trees bend? They bend towards the direction of the wind. What do you call the wind that blows at a higher speed? A storm. What do you call the wind that blows at a lesser speed? A breeze. What equipment is used to find the duration of wind? The wind duration indicator. What equipment is used to measure the speed of wind? The anemometer. Indicate the unit that is used to measure the speed of wind. Kilometers per hour. Name four places where we can enjoy the cool breeze. We can enjoy the cool breeze near oceans, near rivers, near streams and near reservoirs. Clouds. How can you identify different shapes, colors and nature of clouds? We can identify different shapes, colors and nature of clouds through observation. When can you see thick dark clouds in the sky? Before rain. What is the nature of the sky? When there are no clouds, the sky is clear and blue. How can we collect data related to weather in the immediate surroundings of our school or home? Using different types of equipment and observation. The name of the weather element is temperature, equipment, thermometer, and the unit. Degrees of Celsius and Fahrenheit. The name of the weather element is rainfall, equipment, rain gauge, and the unit millimeters. The name of the weather element is speed of the wind, equipment, anemometer, and the unit kilometers per hour. The name of the weather element is duration of the wind, equipment, wind duration indicator, and the unit duration shown by the arrow. The name of the weather element is clouds, equipment by observation. There are three advantages of knowing the weather conditions in our immediate surroundings. We can plan our day-to-day -day activities properly. Damages to life and Property can be prevented. Fishermen and farmers will be able to engage in their activities successfully. 
this is the end of the lesson on the weather conditions now let's move on to an activity activity first word puzzle across number 1 you can get to know about the nature of the clouds by doing this we can get to know about the nature of the clouds by observation down number 2 the wind that blows mildly and softly the wind that blows mildly and softly is breeze down number 3 the speed of the wind is measured with this equipment the speed of the wind is measured with anemometer across number 4 a main element a main weather element is temperature across number 5 condensed water vapor falls to the earth as this condensed water vapor falls to the earth as rain this is the end of the lesson thank you very much for watching I hope you understood the lesson. If you find this lesson interesting, useful, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to share this video. I will see you in my next video.